you're looking to stay fueled while out on the mountain biking trail or on the road bike, well, we're going to give you some healthy ways to do that. Joining me now, we have Michael Freeberg. He's a pro cyclist out of Boulder, and you have some great ideas for us. It's kind of what, what you've adopted. Yeah. And yeah. tell us a little bit about um, just eating a little bit healthier out on the trail. Yeah, so there's been a huge movement in the last five to ten years um, to eat more natural foods on the bike. I remember um, back when I was still on the US ski team, I would sometimes eat a power bar instead of a meal, thinking that that was a healthier way to go. And uh, thinking around that has really come, um, you know, it's really shifted 180 degrees to now it's all about eating the fewest processed ingredients you can. And so Dr. Alan Lim came up with, um, with rice cakes and that's what we're gonna be making here today. Okay, perfect. So, and they're pretty easy. We just uh, kind of kick things off. You've already got the rice. So we've got yeah. it out of the rice cooker, which is such a simple way to go. Definitely. And so you wanna start with a short grain Calro's rice or a sushi rice. Um, the shorter grains uh, give it that nice sticky texture and they also absorb more water. Okay. So that's gonna make it easier to digest after that. Um, you season it to taste with Bragg's liquid amino acids. Okay, now why that? Um, so it's, you can also use a low sodium soy sauce, mm -hmm. but this is just a cleaner, healthier um, version of that. It gives it that sort of umami flavor. Yeah. And so once you've got that seasoned to taste, um, the next step is gonna be adding your eggs. And so the eggs are an extremely easy to digest protein. Buns. So we scrambled some eggs already. Okay. We're just gonna go ahead and add those in. Okay. And then uh, you are adding bacon. That's I quite a treat. Bacon. Yeah. So we got the bacon. Almost everything on the market right now in, uh, in energy foods is, is sweet. Yeah. And uh, when I'm out on a trail, um, I prefer more of a savory uh, flavor profile. You know, with the rice cooker, you can get really creative. If you wanted to do something sweet, you could do some nut butter and dates. Um, dried fruit, things of that nature. Oh, yeah. You can mix it up a little bit for your time of day. Yeah. yeah, and now that we've got this all mixed, we are gonna add it to this tray and create bars out of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the rice paddle to move it to one end, and then we're gonna just compress it. And then you could put it in a baggie or whatever you need, Yeah. and then stick it in your jersey pocket. Exactly. Okay, all right. So eating just a little bit healthier out on the trail. Easy. We did this in just a matter of minutes to get the rice cooker going, of course. You can make your eggs and you're good to go. Good to go. Looks delicious. Thanks, Thanks. Mike. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm.